What's up guys back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today in this video guys We are going to go over the summoning This is in DeFi kingdoms. This is going to be a guide on everything summoning. It's going to go over the Shafas runes It's going to go over what you should raise what you shouldn't do. It's just going to go over a bunch of different things It's basically summoning 101 So if you guys are interested in DeFi kingdoms and, and interested in gaming this system or doing well in the DeFi kingdoms game This is how you're going to do it with summoning So a couple things you need to know is in this article. I have little handy dandy notes here so you guys can see this But the biggest thing you need to know are the stats. What are the different stats? Well, if we go to the DFK Tavern Guide, these are the different stats that you have. Say, for example, you have a Miner. Well, what you want to do is get a guy that's strong with Strength and Endurance, or a Gardener with Wisdom and Vitality, Foraging with Dexterity and Intelligence, and Fishing with Luck and Agility. It's pretty easy to remember these. Just remember, when you have a guy who wants to go fishing, well, typically when you go fishing, you gotta have someone who's lucky, and they're pretty quick so agility so you know you get lucky to get a fish and then you're like shoot and then you catch the fish like you know you hook them now foraging uh would be dexterity and intelligence well first you got to be smart to make sure those berries are not bad the ones that you pick like you know um in the hunger games where they had the blackberries or whatever and the person ate the wrong ones and died and so on and then you got to be um, good with dexterity, which is good with your hands because you don't want to crush the berries because it gets everywhere. Gardening. You want to be smart. You want to know that an apple seed makes an apple tree, not a, a pineapple seed making a apple tree type of thing. And vitality because you can think of it like um, the sun uh, or plants. Uh, they're, uh, they have a lot of energy. Um, so bright, energetic, good. And then mining, of course, you got to be strong and uh, have good endurance. So something to understand with that. Now let's go ahead and go over the breakdown. Um, this will definitely help with your guide so you guys can see it, but you guys cannot even see it right now. So let's scoot this over. All right, so here you can see the stats here. I'll leave links in the description below for this junk. Um, but you can see here are the different classes. Now, if you have a warrior, um, it's going to have 75 for, for strength. A knight is going to be 70. A thief is going to be 55. And this is like the chances of rolling that bonus. So when I'll explain it later in this video, but basically when you're using the summoning, there is one guaranteed stat and then other stats are, well, just a luck of the dice. It's rolling. Uh, this is for the basic class. For the basic class, there are no bonuses. Let me go ahead and show you the bonus breakdown so you guys can see. The common gets none. The uncommon gets plus one, the rare plus four, legendary plus seven, and mythic plus ten. So the common doesn't have any guarantees. The uncommon gets one boosted stat guaranteed. The rare gets four, legendary is seven, and mythic gets ten. I'll, ex I'll explain that later in the video, but let me just show you what it looks like real quick. Let's use this hero for example so you guys can see. So this is how the summoning will work. If I want to choose a stat bonus, I'll select which stat I want bonus. And then I'll choose two uh, stat seeking guys blessing, which is going to be the random rolled ones. I'll do this later with a, another card to show you, but I just wanted to show you this general layout. This is how the summoning works. And of course it all depends on the hero type. So if I want to have a greater chance of getting good strength, I want to use a warrior that has a chance because if I choose one, like say for example, I choose the uh, wizard to upgrade his strength. There's a 30% chance that I'll get it and a 70% chance that I just won't get it. I'll leave this guide so you guys can scroll through and see what the chances are that you'll get it. Um, but this is just a quick overview for it. So we'll put that back. Now let's go ahead and go over the next part, which are the runes. Now the Shavas runes, they're going to be different for leveling. So say for example, level zero to one, there are no costs because um, you're just level one, it's whatever. Now level one to level two, you're gonna need one rune, two to three, two runes and so on. You guys will see uh, the runes pick up as the higher levels you go. And of course you have the um, point one for the uh, jewel cost. Now. When you're level, when you're leveling up, keep in mind you'll always get plus one stamina, and stamina replaces after meditation. So the best thing to do is go ahead and send you guys on a quest right before the meditation. Um, that way you'll just be able to 
quest double time. So why not? It's free questing. Now there are different costs. Um, when you get to level 10 to 11 um, to through 20, you can see there are different runes. Now these runes do different things. Um, I'll show you guys the list of the different runes so you guys can see what it's talking about. So here are the different runes. You're gonna have the uh, Shavas, Moshika, Ashia. There's a bunch of different runes, but a lot of them have the unknown effects. So right now we're going to be using the Shavas. The other ones will come later. And I want to go over this with the stats real quick so you guys can see it. Uh, the mana points, these are going to be used for casting spells, using skills, etc. Um, so when this reaches zero, you have to use a potion to recharge. Now, how do you get these potions? Well, it's going to be with items in the game. And if we go ahead and look at the handy dandy notes, I'm going to be going over the items in another video. Same thing with the hero's value. I'll be going over that later. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of like a hint, hint. Uh, stamina is going to be used for like quests and so on. Um, you can pay jewels to increase your stamina as well and recovery rate or go to the end. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what, let's see what happens and comes out of that. I, I'm pretty sure the end's not out yet. Um, if you want to understand what an end is, it's similar to like a hotel. And then you have strength, which adds multipliers to various actions, physical attacks and skills. Um, then you got dexterity, uh, less for defenses, more so for modifying attack damage for certain weapons. Um, so basically increasing them. Uh, then you got agility, vitality, and so on. Agility is going to be like uh, the times between uh, heroes' actions. So similar to like Pokemon or... Uh, no, it would be similar to RuneScape. So in RuneScape, if you used a, a Rune Scimitar, uh, it would attack much quacker. Er, <laughs> quacker. Yeah, it would attack much quacker than a two-handed sword because the two-handed sword would take like two or three times as long to attack. So basically, you'll get more attacks in with higher agility. Um, vitality, uh, this is basically impacting HP growth, so it'll add benefits from recovering from certain attacks. Endurance adds to defense and increases resistance, so basically um, makes you better at defending. And you have intelligence, which adds multipliers to several different actions like magic, um, it modifies magic evasion, and so on. Wisdom uh, adds multiplier to magic attacks and skills. And you also have luck. Luck is good for both combat and for professions because you can uh, land a critical strike or you can find a ultra rare item. So something to keep in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Make sure though, before I get into this, let's check our handy dandy notes. Make sure I went over all this. I went over the stats. Uh, oh, I didn't go over the strategy. Well, we're, we gotta do how to do it. So the strategy is this. Say for example, I have a pirate. Well, what's a pirate good at? So what we need to do is go into the all-in-one DeFi Kingdoms disc. Okay, uh, all-in-one DeFi Kingdom guide. It's on Tavern. I'll leave a link. Uh, pirate, the best thing it's going to be good at is, well, um, yeah, mining, strength and endurance. Right now, the pirates kind of sucks. Um, sorry, sorry, pirate, but you, you kind of do. Uh, I would rather have a paladin and level up my paladin and give them uh, strength and endurance for mining. Because, well, strength and endurance for mining, make them a really good miner, and make me some money. So, strength and endurance is one of those things like, yeah, it's great, or, eh, it's not so much. Well, the reason I say that is because strength and endurance is going to suck for foraging. But strength and endurance will be good for battle, and it will be good for mining. So, it all is like a win-win, lose-lose type of thing. And they, they made the game on purpose like that, so you have to get different heroes, which is genius, in my opinion. Um, so we're going to say, all right, I have a paladin. My strategy is I want to make this guy a really, really good miner. Well, what I'm going to focus on is his strength and endurance. I'm not going to factor in like, hey, I want to make him good at foraging because, well, I just want to. No, I see the paladin is good at mining, so I'm going to boost his strength and endurance as much as I can. How does it get the factors for mining? Well, say you have 10 strength and 10 endurance. That means you have 20 points towards mining. So that means mining is like your, your gangbuster way. Uh, that means you got 20 towards it. If you have 12 strength and 10 endurance, it's 22 points. They're interchangeable. So endurance is one, strength is one. It's the same junk, different day. It doesn't matter. So right now we are going to look at the heroes we have. Um, I'm going to use this hero right here for the pirate. So when I'm selecting this hero, I understand he's a pirate. The best he can possibly be good at is strength and endurance. 
Now, why do I say strength and endurance is going to be his best? Well, because strength and endurance is what he's going to need to be. I mean, he does have good dexterity and, oh, he's went. Let's go ahead and select him back. All right, so he's back. So we can see he is good with dexterity and vitality because he does have bonuses on them. So, I mean, with that in mind, what can we do with dexterity and vitality? So we can see dexterity is good for foraging and vitality is good for gardening. Mm, but he's a sucky gardener and he uh, he's okay at foraging, but I'd rather have him as mining because his strength and endurance is 17 points. His dexterity and intelligence are 18. He's got 18 already for foraging, so that's good, but his strength and endurance is 17. But he's already a good miner and he's selected for mining. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and specify him for mining, even though he is one point under. Because if you look at it like this, I can mine five times, whereas if I sent him uh, foraging, he would only be able to forge three times because based on his stamina. Remember, you gotta look at these different strategies on how you want to play them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost his strength and endurance. Right now his endurance is kind of weak sauce. I do like how he does have some good luck, so luck is always something good to boost because it increases your chances of finding rare items. So you can find rare items when you're mining as well. So we are going to do strength and we are going to do endurance. Well, it's actually gonna allow us to do one. And I'm also going to do luck as a blessing and strength as a blessing because I just wanna do that. I think it'll be a good idea. So I'm gonna approve the jewel contract and approve the rune contract. All right, so we approved those two. Let's go ahead and begin the level up. Remember, you gotta keep in mind strength, endurance, luck. Um, those are the ones I'm selecting because I'm choosing, I'm gonna make this guy a miner. Yes, I know, I know, I'm making the price cheaper on the transaction because I'm a cheapskate. So something to keep in mind as well. That's like a trick. You can change it to one if you guys want. It's a little bit slower, but it's not too bad. So again, let me go ahead and go over the notes. Well, actually, it's got the ritual going on now. We're just going to leave this. So it made level two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and complete the ritual. And I basically boosted my strength. So let's go ahead and complete this and enter the transaction. So boom, we entered the transaction. Let's go back to our handy dandy notes, make sure I'm getting all this junk. Guys, I have ADHD, so I gotta cover this. So I went over the summoning info, I went over how to do it, the strategies, and the stats. I already went over those stats. Remember, keep in mind, minor, strength, endurance, da da da, you guys get the point. Um, figure out the guy you wanna make and make him. Okay, all right, I already selected, I wanna make my guy a minor, um, cause that's what I wanted to do. Uh, go over the runes and drops per guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Did, no, no, I, I did go over that. Um, that was basically the drop rate per rune. Like level 1 to 10 um, is going to mainly be the Shavas rune. And then 10 to 20 is going to be the Moshika. You still will have to have some Shavas, but you'll need some Moshika as well. But you can see my hit points increased. Uh, my MP, uh, which is just mana points, uh, increased and stamina increased. And I earned one skill point. Good for you, Johnny. So we can see now my strength is 10, my dexterity is 11, agility is 7. So my stats, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. It's not 10, it's 13 because I got plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1. And then I also, these are the bonuses. I actually got two bonuses. How did I do that? Well, if you can see here, rare, plus 4. So there's a chance that I'll get plus four and whatever. And here's plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. So I did get the bonuses. So awesome, great. I got the plus four, I'm happy. And I got the boosted and it cost 0.1 jewel and it cost a uh, Moshika rune, or I'm sorry, a Shavas rune. So now my guy's leveled up. Now I can go send him on the quests and the professions. Remember I made him a miner, he can't mine, so that sucks. But at least he's lucky and he does have a lot of strength and, and he is good with dexterity. So I think we'll use him for the um, forging because he's good with his hands. So forging, you need to have um, uh, intelligence and you need to have dexterity. Those are two good ones for it. So we're going to go ahead and select this and say boom done and send him on the quest.
Remember, dexterity, intelligence, you gotta be smart and good with your hands. Send him on the quest, see what he gets, and we'll just leave him. But yeah, that's how you level up, you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure you smash up that like. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and do so. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but what's going to be interesting about these quests is eventually these quests will be all around the map. So I think that will be kind of cool. And if you guys want to jump in the Discord, hear about some strategies, how I'm playing the markets, how I'm playing DeFi Kingdoms, and tons of demos and guides inside the Discord, there's a link in the description below. It is the Patreon link. Yes, it is a premium service, but you'll get a lot of content that is not on YouTube and strategies in the markets, and you'll be able to chat with other DeFi Kingdom chads like you. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 13, verses 15? Actually, we're in verses 7. Jeez. One person pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. Be that first guy, right? No, just kidding. Be the one who pretends to be poor and has great wealth. Humble yourselves. It's good. You guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast. Like, literally, at rent a home fast.